I feel like I'm very obvious I'm on my tiptoes. Let me. It's TikTok time. Hey everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm Gabriella, and today I am back with another TikTok trend. Every day I just scroll through the app and I see so many cool art projects that I just really want to try. Today I'm going to try paint pouring. It is so big on TikTok, it's literally always trending and there are so many cool projects that you can do with them. I've chosen three projects that I really want to try. I don't know if any of these are going to work, I don't know if they're going to come out cute or not, but that's why I'm going to try them today. I'm super excited so let's get started. The first project I'm going to try is the dustpan method. I'm putting these four cups underneath the canvas so that when the paint is drying, it doesn't stick to the drop cloth. I found this really pretty palette at the local craft store and it's already pre-mixed. But if you want to make your own palette, you can buy any acrylic paint and mix it with a pouring medium. I'm putting each color of paint in its own cup and make sure to not mix it before. Take the dustpan and layer each color on top of each other and again, don't mix them. Keep layering them on top of each other until you feel that you have enough paint. Keep in mind this project does require a lot of paint to cover the whole canvas when pouring. Now that all your paint is on the dustpan, slowly pour it onto the canvas. It's better if you have your canvas at a small tilt so that the paint pours easily. Once you've poured your paint onto the canvas, slowly just move the canvas around until all sides of the canvas is completely covered by the paint. You may need to add more paint on some corners because there wasn't enough the first time. Okay, that was super satisfying to do. And while I wait for this to dry, I'm gonna go on to the next one. Once again, I'm placing the cups underneath the canvas and I just washed the old ones out and reused them. Next, I'm painting the canvas black because with the colors that I'm using, I just feel like it's gonna pop more, but this is completely up to you. Pour whatever color paint you want in a cup. Next, I'm just going to use some thin yarn and dip it in the paint. You want to mix it around a little bit to make sure that all parts of your string or yarn is completely covered. Next, carefully place your yarn onto the canvas like this. I'm doing it in this style because it usually comes out like a flower. Wait a few seconds with your yarn on the canvas so that it can really soak up the paint. From the end of the string, slowly pull it straight down. This should create a flower typed object. I feel like it's a little plain and simple, so I wanna add two more. I'm just gonna cut one smaller piece of yarn and dip it in a brighter pink just to add more contrast. I'm gonna do this twice on the canvas so I can add two smaller flowers. All right, well, we're done with this one, so now we're gonna move on to the last project. I'm going to start by putting on painter's tape on the canvas. You can do whatever style you want, I'm just kind of winging it and seeing how it's going to come out. Once again, I'm going to be putting these cups underneath the canvas. Next, take your paint palette and one by one layer them in a cup. I found that for this project, using a few different colors makes it the best, so I'm going to use about four to five. And again, don't mix them. Now I'm going to pour the paint all over the canvas and try to spread it out evenly. So before we move on to the next step, this takes a long time to dry because when we have to take off the painter's tape, you don't want it to leak through. I waited about 48 hours. It's completely dry. So now I'm just gonna pull off the painter's tape and see how it came out. Okay, so clearly something went wrong here. The tape was so stuck and dried onto the canvas that it was extremely hard to peel and the paint definitely leaked through. I know that you can fix this by painting white on top of the painter's tape before you pour the paint, but I kind of like the look of it leaking through. I just wish that the painter's tape wasn't so hard to peel off. Okay everyone, I just finished trying all of these paint pouring trends and I'm not gonna lie, this might have been the most fun projects I've had for Handmade. I love how they came out, they were easy, they were fun, and if anything, they were just very mesmerizing to watch. This one, I'm not gonna lie, was a little bit of a struggle. There was a bit of a whole tape situation and the paint completely leaked through, but that is the whole point of trying these popular crafting trends. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other TikTok trends you guys want me to try. 
Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And I'm going to try to go figure out how to take all this paint off of me. See ya.